Hi everybody, this is Ayokunle from Blooming Gardens. Alright, so we are on the farm today and we're doing our land preparation to start a, a crop of peppers. So we're loading the, yeah, the, the, the ground right now with manure, you know. Uh, remember what I said, loading, loading. The reason is because um, we want to ensure that our soils are very well nourished all right the last set of corn that we planted in this particular spot didn't do so well because of nourishment so we have uh, we had access to some very well decomposed manure so we took advantage and we are putting about um seven to eight beds eight bags rather seven to eight bags of this manure on each bed like i said note what i'm saying loading so the plan is that once we put all the manure on the bed as my guys are doing right there all right uh forget that we're doing it manually as it is that's what we have to do that's what we have to deal with all right but once we put all the manure in the soil then we'll physically seal it into the soil uh, and let it get really uh soaked into the soil then we'll apply water put our mulch put our irrigation before we we plant all right so that's what we're doing today uh, and all of this place down all the way there is going to have peppers in the next couple of months in the next couple of uh, between now and the next uh, few would i say within a week all of this 3000 square meters is going to be filled up with uh, peppers all right so we're just putting the manure on the soil that's what they're doing right now it's very well decomposed manure all right let me step out of the way so once we put it, they spread it all, all over. Then they'll go in. We're still going to come back in when we're doing the proper. So we just took out corn from this place. All right. So we're just putting the manure on the surface. We'll come in with holes and fill it into the soil. We'll seal it and turn it into the soil so it gets embedded. Hopefully we'll have maybe one, or, one rain or two rains to get it into the soil properly. With this, we may not need to add any form of manure again for the next maybe one and a half to two years because this will be enough. We are over doing it right now, but even if the first crop doesn't take the full advantage, we just have a set of uh, tomatoes we harvested last, uh, we just started harvesting today, and they are benefiting from this same thing that we did last year. These tomatoes are doing really, really well, All right? Uh, so, we plan that this is going to be our model as we go. On, on the farm. Get manure, put a lot of it in the soil, then we'll see how we can do. All right. So this is me, Ayokunle, uh, reaching out to you today. If you have questions around the uh, application of manure and on and on like that, or you, for whatever reasons you like this video, click on our subscribe button and uh, drop a comment in the comment section for the videos, your friend. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.